ক্লাস করছে পিথাগোরাস থিওরাম তাই তো Hello, continue. Okay. So, the Pythagoras theorem is very important topic for math. Okay. So, what is the use of this? It explains the relation between the sides of right angle triangle. What is the right angle triangle? That, the right angle triangle is a 90 degree triangle. Okay. So, this is the right angle triangle okay so this pythagoras theorem used to identify the length of the unknown side if two side given right say this is a b c so if any two of these value given we can find the third one okay it also sometimes called the pythagorean theorem you got this point so what is the name of this yes this side yeah, is the it's the longest one longest one what is the name of this hypotenuse hypotenuse yes hypotenuse i o tenus this is base okay this is perpendicular perpendicular okay so this is the three sides of a right angle so this theorem pythagoras theorem state that the in a right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse side is equal to the sum of square of other two sides okay the side of this triangle have been named as a perpendicular base and hypotenuse here the hypotenuse is the longest side as it is opposite to the 90 degree this one is 90 degree so opposite to the 90 degree is always longest side the side of right triangle which have positive integer values when squared are put into an equation also called a pythagorean triple okay the another name is pythagorean triple so by statement what we see 
this is right angle so if we make a square with the similar is like this the area and if we make a square like this with the similar length if we make the square like this on this axis then this is this area plus this area equals to the area of this part okay so that's why the pythagoras theorem is nothing but hypotenuse square if we say a is a square this hypotenuse square equals to this perpendicular square or base square we can say b square plus c square okay or in this place we can say c square equals to a square plus b square okay if you know the value of a and b you will able to find the length of c if you know the value of c and a you will able to find the length of b or vice versa any two value given you can find the another side got this point yes so the side opposite to the right angle is the longest side known as hypotenuse because the side opposite to the greatest angle is the longest you may remember this if any side uh, opposite to a greatest angle that will be the longest one so here we are considering three sides okay three square this is c square this is b square this is a square okay that uh, the square mounted on three side of the triangle having the same side so pythagoras theorem is the area of square a plus area of square b equals to area of square c okay so if someone given like this that hypotenuse hypotenuse is we need to find the hypotenuse the value of a is given say 8 value of b is given say 6 then c square equals to what 8 square plus 6 square okay equals to 64 plus 36 equals to 100 so if we want to know the value of c we will write c equals to root over 100 equals to 10 so the length of this side will be 10 see this is 10 this is 8 this is 6 so this is 10 is greater than other two side right yes so this is the way we can calculate the value of other side unknown side so how we can prove that we'll take the proof of this uh, in uh, geometry the right angle triangle we'll, let's take a right angle triangle as this way so this is a this is b this is c okay right angle we can write like this also let's say this is a this is b okay b is a angle b equals to 90 degree okay we need to prove to prove ac square this ac ac square equals to ab square plus bc square we need to prove this one so to prove this one let's draw a perpendicular from b on top of the ac so let's draw a perpendicular from here to there so we are getting another 90 degree here another nine since it's a perpendicular right yes so we'll write like this will write a caption construct 
construction we'll write draw a perpendicular bd meeting ac at d we'll write like this okay so how we'll prove this one so if you consider if you check this one uh this is d let's take this angle a d b tribus a d b okay if we consider with the whole angle a b c what will be it will be similar why it will be similar tribus a b c because if two triangle have one similar angle like this this also 90 degree this also 90 degree this also 90 degree right similar angle and the length side is proportional to the other's length side not it, it it must not be equal but it's a proportional okay so well then we'll say this is a similar therefore what we can say ad this ad divided by ab this side by this side equals to ab this ab where we are writing for both for a b a b d we are writing a b a d divided by a b why this is what this is, this is a hypotenuse triangle. Of triangle. okay this is the hypotenuse of a b d triangle right so yes this is the tri uh, this is the base and this is the perpendicular so or this is this is the hypotenuse so what we can write ad this base by hypotenuse equals to this one okay similarly we can write ab divided by ac ab this one is the base right for the biggest one ab and we are dividing by the hypotenuse of abc okay ac got this point the corresponding side of similar triangle we are corresponding making the corresponding side of similar triangle so what we can do we can multiply this one ab square equals to ad into ac this is equation one okay from this small triangle and with the the total triangle similarly also we can say if we consider this one bdc this triangle small triangle bdc this also similar to a triangle abc right because this also having this one 90 degree and biggest one also 90 degree and the other uh, sides are proportional to the biggest one smallest triangle sides proportional to biggest side triangle side so for this what we can write we can write in the similar way that means cd divided by bc see here opposite to this is what bc right b and c and this is the base base divided by hypotenuse bc equals to we can write bc divided by ac corresponding sides are similar so bc divided by ac because we are considering this and hypotenuse so from this we are getting bc square equals to ac into cd this is equation two so adding these two we can write adding equation one and equation two what we'll get we'll get see here a b square a b square plus this one b c square the similar side will be adding similar way we'll add a d into a c plus a c into c d okay 
So from here, what we can do? We can take a b square plus b c square equals to, we can take common from this, right? a c, then a d plus c d, okay? Now, what is a d plus c d? See the triangle? a d, a d is this one, and c d is this one. That means it will be a c, right? That means whole length yes. frame. That's why we'll put this value a b square plus b c square equals to a c and this also a c equals to a c square. Got this point? Yes. Therefore, we got the result. We can say a c square equals to a b square plus b c square. This is the easiest way to prove the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, this is proved. So similar way, you can prove it in many ways, around 100 ways you can prove this Pythagorean theorem. Okay, got this point. So where will yes. you use this Pythagorean theorem? To know if the triangle is right angle, triangle or not. If someone given that a, a triangle, if you want to check whether it's a uh, right angle or not, then we'll use this Pythagorean theorem. Okay, because for Pythagorean theorem, the largest size, uh, side square equals to the other two sides square, uh, sum of square of other two sides. So if, if it is proven, that means the triangle is right angle. Then we can use in a right angle triangle, we can calculate the length of any side if other two sides are given. Okay. Then we can use Pythagoras theorem to find the diagonal of a square. We can find the diagonal of a square. You know what is the meaning of diagonal? Uh, um, this is square. Okay. okay. So anything is going from this point to this point or this point to this point is called diagonal. So here also we can, we can find the diagonal, right? Because this yes. is triangle, one triangle. This is this triangle is becoming what? Hyper, hypotenuse. This is base, this is this. And for the square, we have the similar value for these two. If we add this value like this, if it is a four meter, that means four square plus four square equals to this hypotenuse. That means 16 plus 16 equals to h. That means h equals to 32. Very easily we can find the diagonal, okay? Okay. Then we can use hypotenuse theorem is useful to find the side of triangle, uh, right angle triangle. If we know the two sides of a triangle, then we can find the third side this way. Okay. So now how you can use it, whether it's uh, from, from a angle, whether the given, given angle is a triangle, right? How will we use? If we provide with a length of three sides of triangle, then to find the, whether the triangle is right angle or not, we need to use the Pythagorean theorem. Let us understand the statement with the help of some example. Let's say someone given you the three sides, 10, 24, and 26, okay? Then you will need to check whether the given triangle is a right angle or not, okay? So clearly 26 is the lo longest, right? This is the biggest one out of these three. Got this yes. point? That means yes. this square equals to this square plus this square. If it is satisfied, then it's a uh, right angle. Okay. So we know what okay. C square equals to A square plus B square. And we know C is always, hypotenuse always the longest one. Okay. So let's see 26 square equals to a square is what 10 square plus b square is 24 square okay so first we'll solve right hand side this side will solve okay so what is going to be this is going to be 100 plus 24 into 24 it will be 576 okay that means 676 six, okay now takes 26 square, okay? What will be the 26 square? 
if you use the calculator, we'll find 26 into 26 equals to 676. If you multiply these two, let's check. 26 into 26 equals to 576. Similar, right? Since this also 676 and this also 676, that means this given the length of three angle, three sides, this tri triangle will be a right triangle. Okay. Got the point? Hello? Hello, yes. Do you understand this one? Yes. Okay. So if any two value given, yeah, then you can find the uh, second one. Like this, if someone given you uh, one triangle like this, Okay, so this is 15 centimeter, this is 17 centimeter, then B centimeter. Now you'll need to find this B. How will find this? We know this one. This is C, this is A. So A square plus B square equals to C square, right? Since we have value of C and A, we'll need to find B. So we'll keep B square here, then we'll get C square and we'll side chains is square. So C is given what? 17 square plus, sorry, minus 15 square. Then if we calculate this one, we'll get this result. Yes. Right? So what is the value of 17 square? 17 square, 289. That means 289 minus what is the value of 15 square? 15 square to 25. So this will be 225. If we deduct from 289 to 225, we'll get 64. So B square equals to 64. That means B equals to what? Root over 64 equals to what? Eight centimeter, okay? Very easily yes. find this one. So similar way you can solve anything, right? Yes. Okay. If someone given you the uh, triangle uh, square like this, someone given you uh, that one square given or force or side of a square given like this, it looks like a a. B, C, D. So it's a four, length is four. Four means, square means every part will be four, right? So if someone says you, telling you to find the length of AC, will you able to find it? When you are taking this, yes. 90 degree, right? If it is 90 degree, the opposite will be what? Hypotenuse. That means AC square equals to a B square plus B C square. Okay. So this is what four square plus this also four square. That means 16 plus 16 equals to 32. So it will be AC length of the AC will be 32 AC square. AC square equals to 32. That means AC equals to root over 32. Right. So what is the value of root over 32? We can simplify this one like this 16 into 2, right? That means we can take out 16 outside, that will be 4 and root over 2. This is the easiest way to find. That, that, that means 4 root 2 is the length of this one, 4 root 2. Got this point? Yes. So this is the way we can identify the value of diagonal okay? okay so let me ask you some question what is the formula of pythagorean theorem a square plus b square is equals to c square okay so what is the formula for hypotenuse 
Yes. So formula is c square equals a plus. a square plus b square. So what is the formula of yes. hypotenuse? c square equals to a square plus b square. No, this is the formula. So hypotenuse is c, right? That means yes. root over a square plus b square. Okay. Can we apply okay. the hypotenuse? Can we apply the Pythagorean theorem for any triangle? Yes. No. Pythagorean theorem only applicable for right angle triangle. All right, right angle. Yes, only right angle triangle. Pythagorean theorem is applicable. The theorem is applicable only for the right angle triangle, not all triangle. But this point. Oh. That's why always we are right. We are trying to make a triangle with a right angle. Okay. Yeah. Remember this one. What is the use of Pythagorean theorem? Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem helps helps us in finding the length of a diagonal object. Okay. Okay. All right. Understood? Understood. Okay. Then, okay. Practice this one. Bye. Today's class. Bye.